Hey folks, Alex McMahon here of Evolve Nutritional Therapy. We are back with another set of nutrition myths. So I wrapped up my last series of six videos and I had a lot of people who reached out to me via my newsletter on social media and then sent me direct messages about other myths that weren't addressed in the last video series that they'd like me to do a video on. So we're doing another six videos on nutrition myths. Myth number seven is going to be that smaller, more frequent meals boost your metabolism and allows you to lose more body fat. Now, the idea of this is really based on what's known as the thermic effect of food. And the thermic effect of food is the amount of calories that your body has to allocate to digesting, breaking down, absorbing, and assimilating the nutrients from what we've eaten. Now, realistically, TAP only makes up about 10 to 12% of the total caloric burn that we have throughout the day. So it's relatively small. Now, people took the idea of the thermic effect of food and expanded it out to think that these smaller, more frequent boosts in your metabolism throughout the day would equate to more calories being burned. However, in studies, what we've actually seen is that meal frequency doesn't really matter. What matters the most is that A, you're eating in a calorie deficit so that you're burning more calories than you're taking in on a day-to-day -day basis, and B, that for those to be adequate studies, we have to have the macronutrients matched because each one of the macros, proteins, fats, and carbs, all have a different rating. So as long as we have total calories and our macros matched, we're gonna have the exact same amount of TEF. We're gonna burn and allocate the exact same amount of calories to digesting and breaking down food. So let's take, for example, if you eat 1,800 calories. It doesn't yeah. matter whether you choose to eat two 900 calorie meals or three 600 calorie meals. At the end of the day, with the calories and macros matched, your body is gonna burn the exact same amount of calories to digest and break down those foods. So we need three big factors when it comes to your fat loss. Number one, you need to be in a calorie deficit. Number two, you need to find a dietary strategy that you can adhere to and one you can stick with. And then number three, you need to pick a meal frequency that fits and suits your lifestyle. So as always, I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch and I will see you in video eight. Thanks.